Hello violinists, welcome to Brown Strings. I'm Henriette and welcome to the start of a new book. Bodan Belinda is number one in the Fiddle Time Joggers book. So I'm glad to see you here and my intention is to record all of the songs in this book as little lessons, as little videos that you can play along. So I would like you to have your violin and your bow ready and join me playing. Now when we play Bow Down Belinda, we're playing on two strings, on the G string, which is the string furthest to the left, this one here, and on the D string, which is the second string from the left. Now in our book it says pizzicato, but I would like you to start it with the bows. So we're just going to have a look at a, a correct bow hold so that we can improve every aspect of your playing as we're going along. So when you have a good bow hold, I would like you to start with a little ring between your thumb and your middle finger. And that is the basis of a good bow hold. Now if I have my bow, you can perhaps have a look at the bow here. You can see that little bit of bow, which is free from either the black bit of the heel or the black bit here of the rubber. And that's where your thumb is going to go into. So that is the position of your thumb. I know that this little corner here cries out for having your thumb, but that's not the correct place. So watch out that you're touching the stick and not the heel. So my middle finger is opposite, and then I just place my index finger and my ring finger uh, on top of the bow. And my pinky is a bit different because my pinky is not on the top edge of this bow. If you have a really good look at your bow here, you perhaps see that most bows, and I'm, I'm not sure about yours, but most bows have got edges here. And that is done deliberately, so that it's very clear where you, should, where you can place your pinky. Some bows are round here, the stick is rounded here, but most bows have got edges on this end. So that is done deliberately so that you can place your pinky on the side. So pinkies are not on the top edge or over, over even, and that is for cellists. So pinkies are meant to go and lean against the bow from the side. So you're not on the top with your pinky, but on the side. So if I put all of that together, my pinky is right there. Now, if you have a good look, you have a space between your fingers here and a space between your fingers there. So just check it once again. Is your middle finger opposite your thumb? Um, my index finger is not on the silver. It stays on the black padded bit. And then I've got my little finger on the side there. All right. Now you want to aim to bend your thumb underneath the bow and to round your pinky there. All right, and when you've got that, we're ready to play bow down Oberlinda. So your left hand can hold the violin here. Let's place your bow onto the G string, right at the heel of the bow, this end. And we're going to go and play up to the middle for each note and then back on the second note and so on. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. well done super okay at the end of this song you can see some double dots at the end of the line that means repeat this section over again we are going to repeat it in a minute but we're just going to check over our bow hold and I just want you to double check if your thumb and middle finger are still opposite each other and if you've still got the correct spaces between your fingers here if your fingers have got a bit tired from holding the bow that will feel better after a while but initially you, your hand might get a bit tired just give it a good shake and then start again okay so bend your thumb middle finger opposite pop down your fingers little finger on the side edge now make sure that your pinky is nice and round and your thumb is bent underneath as well let's get back to the beginning of Bodan Belinda and let's play it again shall we so I'm starting here and here we go after four one two, three, four. <laughs> Take a little 
and this time I would like you to think about how you hold the violin and I want you to slide your violin over your collarbone so that your corner here of your jaw is near the chin rest. This thing is a strange word, it's called chin rest but it's actually um, a jaw rest more than anything. So when you've got your violin in the correct position, it's not too high up and neither is it too low down. You can imagine if you have a little tennis ball and you put it here and your violin is in the correct position, the tennis ball will start to roll very slowly towards this end. So you can imagine if you have your violin too high, it will roll very fast. And if your violin is too low, your ball will obviously fall off the other way. So let's now play bow down over Linda one last time. And this time I want you to make sure that while you play, your shoulder here, your right shoulder, stays in its lowest position. So let's take your bow on the G string here. Make sure that shoulder is low. Ready? And... <laughs> great progress today. I've really enjoyed teaching you this lesson. If you've enjoyed listening to it and watching it, please can you like it and subscribe to the channel. I very much look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye!